Hello, Nichiwa. And welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese snacks and treats. Today, I am so happy to say that we have our boxy box. Yes, it arrived in time for the weekend. I am so relieved. It, it actually vanished on the tracking for a couple of days. So, uh, yeah, it went from at least from customs to it's, it's here. Uh, but I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I am really looking forward to getting into this, especially because, um, this is supposed to be, I believe the, uh, moon festival box because, um, earlier in the year, Boxu did this thing where they had two boxes for January, but the second box released in February and all our boxes have been pushed back by a month since. So, uh, but I love all the moon viewing festival stuff. So I am super excited with all that said, let's crack in here. And no, I have not opened this box at all since it arrived. Yep. So here we have our culture guide, which has a beautiful image on the front. And of course, the haiku for next month's box um, on the back. So this is super useful. Uh, this is where I get most of my information on the snacks, but for now, I'm going to set it aside because for the unboxing is genuinely easier just to use the custom sheet. It makes things a lot easier for me trying to identify them, especially since they use pictures of the packaging. But here we have, I'm going to call this out every time. So we have a note from the founder with, of course, that beautiful image from the culture guide as well. So Boxu is one of three of the four boxes that we do uh, that have this, and they each do it differently. Boxu uses the same image from their culture guide. This is something I genuinely look forward to every month. I think they're really lovely. I save them and use them as bookmarks. I am a fan. So let's get started. So first thing we have, this is, they're calling it the... Mitarashi chan genmaicha tea. Uh, I'm assuming that Mitarashi, Mitarashi, wow, I cannot say it. Mitarashi chan is the name of this kitty. I could be wrong. Uh, the only ingredient that it's listing on the culture guide is green tea. I'm sure it's a special kind of green tea or prepared in a special way. The information for that will be in the culture guide one of many reasons why I really feel like it's a valuable tool. I appreciate it personally. Oh, oh I love it when they do this. Thank you, Boxu. We have an entire bag of Yuzu mochi. Oh my gosh. I love it when we get these. We get some of the best mochi on this channel. I already love mochi, but we get so many really great, wonderful mochi. I am curious about this. Is this yuzu peel? Yeah. So this is yuzu peel honey honey chips. Uh, I don't know why honey is in there twice, but it is. Uh, I'm doing my best to lay them out as we get through here. At the end, I'll of course rearrange everything so it's easier to see just what I have to do to kind of get through the box when I don't know what's coming. What are you? This is a very puffy container. Hey. Cannot tell at least Okay, I think I know what it is, but I'm going to set it aside for now just to try and kind of eliminate some of the different things. Um, sometimes I appreciate the pictures, but sometimes they're not quite as helpful as I wish they were. So here we have a couple pieces of Pie no Me deep chocolate. Uh, I have to admit I'm a little disappointed. I enjoy seeing the box. They do, but it should be pretty good. We've had uh, quite a bit of pinomi on the channel. 
I am a little concerned chocolate tends to be waxy from Japan, so it's usually not my favorite. So let's go with this big one because I'm pretty sure I see it on here. At least I did. Yes. So this is Konaya Curry Senbei. So we have, these look really good. We have curry flavored rice crackers. Yep. This is part of why I set things to the side if I can't identify them is because I thought one of the other treats might be this. It's not. This is clearly as I'm looking at this. These are Peanuts Crunch. This will be really kind of... It looks like some sort of toffee. It's only list ingredients are Peanuts, Raw Sugar syrup and brown sugar looks really pretty good okay and yes telling these apart gets tricky Oh my gosh, some of these are just not really... Oh, here we go. Oh, that, that looks good. So, they're calling these, I kid you not, baked cookie. Colon. Kokuto black sugar. And if you've been on the channel for the last couple of months, you probably remember this. If not, hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm a big fan of Kokuto. Um, over the summer, we had a number of snacks. We had straight on boxes that were Okinawa themed and Kokuto black sugar comes specifically from Okinawa, if I remember correctly. And I have discovered I am a huge fan of it. Uh, so I'm always happy to see Kokuto show up. Okay. So these are one of those hard candy collaborations that Boxu does. So this is only really available from Boxu, right? Because it's one of the collaborations. This is an Earl Grey hard candy. And these tend to be really nice, very well made hard candies. They don't have a lot of air bubbles in them at all. Really, really good, smooth hard candies. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So this is uh, Kanake Noto Chocolate Cake. That looks really interesting. Also, the packaging is just beautiful. I love the packaging on some of these things. As hard as it can be to identify things, it's, it's also very beautiful. Uh, so this is Lunin Onegai Kabocha Pumpkin. Ooh, so we have a pumpkin flavored treat. I love pumpkin. I'm a huge fan of pumpkin. So what are you? Okay. This is Oishi Sauce Katsu. And I'm I'm laughing a little because Oishi is Japanese for delicious. So this is apparently a delicious sauce katsu. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by katsu, uh, just because, you know, I've had tonkatsu, which is a breaded fried pork cutlet, uh, and I've heard of chicken katsu, which is the same, but chicken, I'm, I'm not sure I've seen it in snack form like this before. I'm kind of impressed. It feels a bit like it actually arrived intact. Um, we're going to find out. It should be pretty good. Okay, we are starting to get down to where I should be able to figure out what some of these things are. Okay. Oh. So this is... The print is small, so... Cultured Butter Kalru Custard Financier Shonen Gold. I kid you not, the, that is the name of this treat. I have no idea what this is. We're going to find out. Uh, 
that's usually where I go to the culture guide. That's usually how I find out what the basics of everything are. So we're also like close enough to the end that I can definitively say, so these are Konjuku Miyazaki Mango Chocolate Crunches. And we've had chocolate crunches a few times on the channel. They've usually been pretty good. Uh, even if they're slightly on the waxy side, I'm optimistic. I'm hoping. Also, they're mango. And usually, usually if they're flavored, especially a fruit flavor, it can kind of, kind of help make up for the waxiness. Okay. Now I'm going to save that for the last. So these, I can definitively say, are the... Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs Gomadare Mochi. So I'm guessing that this is... They made mochi and then puffed it? I don't know. It's really... It's weird to look at. I'm curious to see uh, what this ends up being like. Uh, in the black, it is... It does have sesame as one of the ingredients. So that should be pretty good. Okay, and then these have been, I have no idea where these are. Oh, okay. The image got very badly stretched. So, uh, as you can see, these are very narrow packages. It's stretched so it's more like a square on there, which is part of why it was so hard to find. So these are the... Hana Okaki Rice Crackers. I'm really curious about these. This could be really good. We've had some excellent rice crackers on the channel. I tend to be very happy about that. And then finally, we have an entire bag of potato chips. These are pure potato five-star consomme. I have no idea what they mean by that. A consomme is apparently some sort of broth soup. It's, it's not something I, I, I don't tend to eat things that cost me very much. I, I, I'm a little too obsessed with things like yakisoba. But with that, we have officially gone through everything in the box. So I'm going to take a minute and rearrange as best I can. It is always a challenge. I have no idea how the people who do the arranging on the websites and do it. They always do such a great job of making sure that everything is visible and you can get a really good idea of what's in the packages. Uh, and I genuinely do not know how they do it. They do such a marvelous job. I don't know, maybe it's linked to that packing skill that they also just have in spades. I, I am also always just astonished at how much they're able to fit in these boxes. The tea package is just vanishing. Can I stick you here? There we go. That is the best way I can think of to have it not disappear underneath absolutely everything else they've sent us so much in this box as i said i am always just really really impressed at how much they're able to get in these boxes and so here it is absolutely everything that is in uh the box for boxu for october 2024 and i am really excited there is a lot of stuff in here that i think is really really cool i am really excited to just dive in and get to try everything uh so i'm going to of course go through this see what we're going to try what we're not get everything sorted uh if there's something that happens to be a duplicate though i don't think that there is um everything looks pretty i'm not recognizing anything like i i can recognize the pinomi brand but i i know which ones we've tried and we haven't tried the deep chocolate before um but I'll, of course, go through, make sure, get that figured out. And then we're going to jump right into taste testing all of it. The only thing we'll pause for is, of course, uh, when the Japan candy box comes in. Say I'm still waiting on that, and it also has kind of vanished. 
I don't know. They passed customs and then they vanished. Hopefully it'll come soon. I'm, I'm hoping we'll have it Monday so that we'll be able to get that uh, early in the week. Um, but aside from that, we're just going to go straight through this box. Uh, we aren't going to stop for any or pause for any other reason uh, until we get through absolutely everything. I am super excited. This is going to be really fun. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Johnny.